Well, Elizabeth introduced us to this young lady, Shelby, and all of her wonderful jewelry. There were some things that could not be disclosed. Among those, that she would be appearing on Shark Tank. We saw her on Friday. So I know there were questions you would have loved to have asked had you known, so take it away. Absolutely, and I was just saying that when I met with her several months ago, people asked, why doesn't she go on Shark Tank? And you actually had. So congrats, Shelby. Thank you. And we want to know all the background, all, everything. All the juicy details. Oh, yes, all the juicy <laughs> details. Well, well, there was a lot, like when you went on, there was so many steps in between. So after I was on The View, you know, they called me. And so in between that, there was probably 50 little steps that I had to go through to actually make it to film. And so it was a very long process, and it was a very long waiting process to even know if I was going to air on the show. Um, and something funny is that when you walk in, first off, it's freezing in the room. So I was like, am I nervous or am I cold? <laughs> and so when I walked in, you stand there for a good like minute or two minutes, and they're just taking aerial shots of you. And um, I was like, okay, this is kind of, it kind of builds the tension between the sharks and you. And so after that, you know, I'd be talking to one of the sharks, and then in, in the, over in the other corner, Barbara and Mark would be talking amongst themselves, and I'm like, what are they talking about? So really, it did add to the nerve-wracking element of the show. And you were in there for a long time. Yeah, I was in there about an hour, but TV only saw seven to nine minutes of that. Wow. And one thing that you mentioned earlier is that not all of your products were shown on Shark Tank. Yeah. You've even come out with new things since then. Yeah, so when I went on, I just had my Snap and Poppers, which is where you pick the bays, pick poppers, and change it out like this. Mm -hmm. um, and I had my shell coin collection, but I had about three coins. Mm -hmm. And then I had, like, one, one shell to go with it. And then the angel lockets I have, um, I only had about three styles of those as well. So I, I'm thinking about reapplying for Shark Tank um, and trying to go back on with more of my streamlined collections and impressing them, so... I wonder, have we mentioned your age yet? Have we said you're 16? If we did, if we did, it's still worth repeating. So you're 16 and your little minion brother, he yes. introduced himself as your minion. Yes, he How did. old is he? He's 11 now. And is he really your minion? Uh, uh, <laughs> he doesn't like to follow my directions, but... <laughs> They're adorable together. And now, Shelby, other than some of the new pieces that have come out, what else has happened since Shark Tank? I know their loss on not choosing you, yes. but I, you had to have gotten a lot of great advice from them. Yeah, you know, it was such an amazing, because right after it happened, I was so devastated. I was like, the Sharks basically told me my company was unsuccessful. And so I was kind of like on halt. But then after doing a few shows, I was like, no, people love my product. Um, they love my company, and they love the concept. And so I kind of went back out there, and I started working harder so that I could get where I didn't go with without them by myself and so um, it was it was kind of hard but now I mean I've launched on the Gromit I've launched on Zoo Lily I've launched um, I'm working with Cyril right now in another big box store and so hopefully all of these things pan out and it goes well I think one of the things that I thought when I was watching it is you know maybe they think all right so maybe it's not for them but I, I think every single one of them seem to have great confidence in you and that's what you know will never change you'll always be behind it so yes. I think any single one of them would have, if, if they could have justified it in their mind. But I, I think your idea about licensing Oh, yes. Is great. Um, I, my next goal right now is moving into the souvenir industry. So, of course, characters, sports licensing would be amazing to get. Um, but, like, theme parks, cruise lines, sports stadiums. Imagine going into one of the theme parks in Orlando, and you go into SeaWorld and you get your dolphin popper. But then you go into Disney and you want to get a character popper or Universal and get your little minions popper. And so it's really a crossover product. So you only need one base, and you can take all of these memories home with you. And that would be so amazing for kids, being able to pick up just one popper from every place they go and having a collection. It's so, so brilliant. Mark Cuban, I'm calling Mark Cuban right now. <laughs> he made a huge mistake. He did. <laughs> How can folks find you, Shelby, and your products? I have a website, uh, yourselfexpression.com, and then I also have a store um, about a mile from the town center, um, 3545 St. John's Bluff Road. So come in and check us out. I think it's great. I think you're great. We're so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for introducing us to Shelby. Oh, absolutely. We'll be back.